live stream. For the, uh, uh, for uh, Anton and the Hawk here again. Coming oh, live yeah. from the Savs. Here we go. We're on with the um, interleague team today. Nine uh, we've got the Juju Savs, obviously, versus the Cricketers. And I believe they're from right? Halifax. Yeah, you're, uh, we're just so we've got a first game going now, which is um, going to be Tiny Mark Driver right, against down. Jamie Hatton, who's a looks like a man mountain, to be honest. Um, right, a little large going on, but let's see if Mark can uh, pull it out of the bag. Come on, Mark. It'd probably be worth it, it? Toss for the first break. We've got, we've got a couple. We've got two of them. But maybe one more. I think, it's, I think it's our ref first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do with that, mate. Yep. All right, right. Here it. Dan, Dan, do you want to start proceedings, mate? Right? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're just uh, waiting for a, a referee to get in place uh, and then we'll get the match underway. So, yeah, yeah, well, at least like yesterday you were commentating on uh, racking the walls up. I don't know whether you want to continue <laughs> in that vein or, or or whether there's a bit of something different that you've got going on today, Anton. Yeah, I'd rather rock up the uh, rack. I'd rather commentate on the match rather than the, uh, the racking. At least like yesterday you were commentating on... So we've got no viewers, so we're actually talking to ourselves, but you can watch it back. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure in the not-too-distant future there'll be a couple of notifications and people will figure out that we're actually live. Um, and we are going to share the link as well, because that's the kind of thing we do down at the selves. Coming to, to Pester now. Are we live? Yeah. So we've got Adam, Adam Gissing joining myself and Anton Edwards. God bless his cotton socks. You toss for the first one. Toss for the first one, Dan. Toss for the first one. And then that's it. <laughs> so, Jimmy out to break. No, he's potted, he's potted a few off there, aren't he? He's nominated uh, Yellow Balls. Yellow's in play. <laughs> right, is it, it looks like he's tried to go for a clearance, but it's uh, a, a loose shot there. A loose, slightly loose shot. So Mark Driver, now it's his second time on stream actually, the first time, uh, first time Mark appeared on stream he was playing against uh, Ash Harper, um, yeah, um, I think it's, it's fair to say that he didn't perform his best, but I'll be honest, the last couple of weeks Mark's improved his performances somewhat. Is, uh, it, it couldn't have got much worse. Well, no, probably not. No, no. But now he's got to. He got to the final of the knockout, beating Stuart Priestley on the way on Friday night. It, it, I think he's seen a finish here that perhaps we haven't. So we're thinking. Yeah, it's, it's, it's played. It's played that. It's played the pot well, but now where does he go from here? Is it? Is he going to try and chop that one into that corner there? Do we think? He's got it. Yeah, 
he hadn't, but I think that does him a job actually. In fairness, that's that's not yeah, it's not a bad result really. And I think that's better than potting it because there's no angle there to get his bad ball off the cushion anyway. So I think that's probably a better shot than potting it there. On his way with a bottle of Jurgenmeister is Lee Doyle. It, really. He's played a good shot there. He's, he's still, still got one that's in a, a bit of a tough spot, but. So good afternoon. We've got ten viewers this afternoon. Um, Hey, ten. Yeah. What are we doing, guys? Uh, Callum, Callum right. Mark, Mark Driver's playing Jamie Hatton at the moment. Oh, that could be Jamie's last shot, but I doubt it. I, I doubt. Well, I don't know. I've seen Mark play before, so <laughs> so it Go could on, it, it's a bit of fade. It could be, and um, I'd like to think that he'd get these, but I don't know if that's wishful thinking. It's, yeah, it's wishful thinking. Yeah, and it's just because he's on our team, really. God bless him. We're going to start calling him Nothing Phases Mark. I tell you what, that's a good shot. That's a great shot. He's got himself a. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a semi tricky pot, but it should be natural for him to get on the block as well. Uh, unless he plays it like that and lands in no man's land. Yeah, that's it. I think yeah, I think I'll be looking at um, double here to be honest. Yeah, oh, that's nowhere near. And that hands a, hands no, it hands an opportunity that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll just turn it, turn it up at wireless. Yeah, yeah Ant Anton's feeling a tad special today because um, all weekend is well, actually not all weekend. Last, just late yesterday, yeah. I'm, I'm suffering a little bit of cold anyway. Yeah, a bit of uh, man flu. And, uh, and pre-holiday blue. That's what I've got. That's a very nice shot, and uh, yeah, a good finish there. Good finish, and that puts cricketers 1 0 up. Bit of a mull cut by Mark, but hey ho. Yeah, we've, uh, we've, come, we've come to expect it, to be fair with Mark. Yeah, yeah, to be expected. Yeah, yeah, he has his moments, doesn't he? Bless him. He does. So Cheers. next up we have got Yuxan Lee versus Graham Harrison. And it's Yuxan to break. So Y versus G. Oh Yukai. What's what's Graham's surname, Anton? Pardon? What's what's Graham's surname, sorry? Yeah, I think we're going to need some assistance on the uh, on the pronunciation of the third player's name. You got a big fella. He's a big fella, so I'm not I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce it because if I get it wrong, he might kill me. Can we call him Mr. Molner? Call him Mr. Molner. Yeah, yeah I think that's <laughs> I think that's safer. <laughs> yeah, just Mr. Mr. Fine, or sir. I think Serb will be okay for him. Yeah. <laughs> he might like a bit too much. So Graham's uh, to play red, Yucky on yellows, and clever shot that really to cover this pocket. Clever, clever shot. I, I'd have probably. I'd have, I'd have probably. Uh, yeah, well, everybody likes them tight. No innuendo there by 
the way. You keep it very, very safe. Play. Does that even make sense? A very uh, safety player. A, a very safety player. Yeah. I, I don't think it. I don't think it did. I'll be honest. So it was uh, D DF there from Yuki. Yeah, clever, clever, clever. He oh. does a good inside out. He does. But that's why he plays for England. Yeah, over 50s. Yeah, England seniors. Yeah. England geriatrics. But is that the, is that the better category? What geriatrics? The, the seniors, because they've got yeah. all the experience, haven't they? And if, sure. if Harris Alley's listening, sorry Harris, you're not a geriatric really. We love you, brother. Never yeah. told him that. I think Harris is uh, older than Jerry Hattrick. He's, yeah. he's the next level up, is Harris. Was that like Stephen Hattrick? <laughs> <laughs> Max Hattrick. Good old Harris. Yeah. If you watch him, mate, we'll look him Yeah, as ever. So, two shots here to Yuki. I don't know whether. No, it's, it's not false no good or anything like that. Like he's, got, he's got two shots. He's developed one. Now they all go. What strange decision actually to play the foul there because he's, he's given Yuki a chance to finish here. They've got a clever little shot to start with. Yeah, but. Just to pull them too far. I think I'm going long here. Yes. Yeah, well, he's, he's still got it though. He's still got, he's still got the long one, and he, he can do that and make sure he gets top side of the one into the centre yeah, pocket. Yeah, he's played that well. He's, he's, he's probably. Ooh. Well, I thought he played that well. He's probably just going a bit. It is a quick table, yeah. Sarah, we can sort you out some Jurgen bombs. I'm not saying that they're free, but there will be loads of Jurgen bombs flying around this afternoon. So get yourself down here, and we'll have a couple. Eh? What a shot! For, what a shot from Yuki, but it's still it's not. It's not a great angle. It's not a great angle, is it? But unless, unless you just. Unless he's stunned across, he's got a shot. That's a great shot, is that from Yuxan? Yeah, that's a nice finish that is from Yuki. That's puts, puts us at ones. So next up we've got uh, Mr. Molnar and and this young lady here. Yeah, sir. So buggeroo. Oh dear. Covers up a bit. Cover war on, so hopefully there's no harm done. All being well, because it was covered up. So she's pulled cover back to clean it up. 
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, somebody just managed to pour a beverage on the snooker table. Um, Sarah, what you should do is get Lee to offer, or even Callum, tell Callum to come round, get him, get him there on a false pretense, and then just make him babysit. <laughs> Good thinking. Absolute Good genius. Thinking Unless he's listening, and then he'll not game on it. Just bear with us. We're just gonna we're just gonna pause commentary for a couple of minutes. We're back with you.
other shit going on. Right. Yep. Apologies for the lack of commentary there. Um, it's back with me, Mark Driver, and we've got Gus on commentary. Next game is. Edwards break. Yeah, I don't know computer shit. Yeah. Sure, Anton got his day and like six. Probably like Anton got some six last night. Oh, we've oh, got yeah, Team Jaegers back. Like cricket as if it's broken off when it should have been our break. Oh, I used to get a ball just going on my corner pocket.
that one. That's oh. also pretty shocking. <laughs> We're not playing killer. We could have got much better. Yeah, no, no. F, 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 F. Still on eight. It looks like you like children, so you might be fine. That's a good shot. Perfect. He will go check it out. Me and Nicky were tight. That's the frame down. That's two apiece. Noise. Dan McFistel. Against Ian Tuzlin. We're playing in Tuzlin. We're singing Dan Max on fire. Is that when you we're, we're looking like we're going to win it? Is that what it is? I don't sing it. <laughs> I know, yeah. Don't, we won't mention it live on camera, will we? Anton's doing some kind of moves on the table. It's not your break, Dan. It's their break. It's their break. See what Dan Mutt can do here. No, he's gonna miss. Looks like Dan Mutt's definitely not on fire at the minute. If not, I would not piss on him to put him out. Dan has just called a foul on himself. <coughs> no idea. Does he 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anton's mate. Eh? Anton's mate, Baz. Oh, oh then. Good to see Gus paying attention again. Yeah. I'm looking at Ogos guy, I'm thinking, I've got some change up. Wow, I might be missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, left Dan Mack a shot here. But this is Dan Mack. Dan Mack doesn't do what anyone else would normally do. Dan Mack proving Gus wrong yet again. He's finally played that one down the cushion. Up, play the plant. Kind of pushing himself into a corner here after that last shot, forcing himself to go for it. Slightly overhit, but he's still got a shot at it. That's a cracking block that by Dan Mack.
Hello, hello. Anton here. Right, somebody's ref. Who's ref? He'll play that. Dan! 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 Do you ref him? <laughs> you don't care, don't I, Dan? Dan. Next frame, he's just we a have he's, he's Adam Gissin. You think you can get away with anything? You think Joe he's, he's a Lord Almighty now. God bless him. Nah, Typical Oki, just thinking chilly. about food all the time. I go to on racking again. That's a lovely rack, my dad. A lovely, lovely rack. Look at him go, look at six little ball dead. Oh, yeah. I wonder where Gus has gone. Just uh, deleting all the posts that uh, Gus has put on my phone because I left it here unlocked. Clever. Clever, clever, clever. Right, now we've got uh, Gus, the one and only Gus, versus. Um, Joe Baker, I think. And we are currently 3 2 up. Happy days. Happy, happy days. How do I get to live chat up here? Just go on the. Go on YouTube on your phone. Alright. Ah, I'm learning, I'm learning, guys. I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Got you. We got you. Do you know my step? We need to talk louder into the mics, guys. Is that Can better for you, Dean? Both? Is that any better, Dean? Hello, P Soup. Good to see you. I've got Mr. Smith. How are we doing, Mr. Smith? All the way from Dan Ander, where I'm going next week. Is it next week? Is it classes next week or the week after? I don't know. That break was pretty poo by Gus. Yeah, nice little break. Nice little break, I suppose, by uh, Gus Bice, but he did, he did get it. It's about what we expect from Gus. I mean, I was rubbish. He's always pretty poo. He is. Always. Cricketers are on red. Sorry, Dean. But what do you expect? What should we do? Rather be uh, still a um, T W A T S, as you put it. But we all love it. It's awkward to love you sometimes, but uh, yeah, we still love it. Samsung Arena TV. Samsung Arena TV. Got a few tuned in now. Couldn't watch it, yeah. I've got uh, 82 watching now. Hi guys. Hope we're all okay down there. Well, indeed, uh, and especially Andy. My mate from, uh, from Melbourne. That and she hasn't really left Gus that much, so Gus will probably smash it around the table and fluke one. No? 
Oh, two I like eight, eh? That was a bit taller today, she's got a bad back, so she's uh, not competing. God bless her. You get more something to it? That's all I can say. Yeah, looking forward to uh, the 19th of January, where I'm going to be travelling down to see you. Mr. Smith at the, uh, the, the full capital of the world, which is Melbourne. Um, I'm going to be, and I'm going to be kicking his head in. And all his mates. I don't play with any buttons. How's this sound now, boys? And girls? That's better. It's better. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, Max the way we'll be here. No good. <laughs> no, there's, there's not a lot of commentary about Paul, do we? It comes down here. I will commentate in, on the rack. The rack will go there. Yeah. But if you bother the commentary, then uh, I do apologise. But if you don't listen to it, you can ask me to change my me, uh, me little stance. We were out last night, sorry, and, uh, back in this morning. It's a good job of love the place. So what's Chris going to do now? Is he going to just uh, nick that with another time? Or would he just drop one in the bottom, uh, the top left as you look at it? I bring the one on the cushion. No, nah, it's not seeing it. It's not like Gus not to see something. Yeah. Typical. Typical shot. So a shot no one else saw. Well, like a right fella in. He just cared about the team. Cared about everything. Just himself. Just himself. God bless him. Oh, look at him. And it's nice to see him. He's been signed on all season. This is first game. Oh, that's a sweet. Oh, yeah. Joe's got a chance now. Let's drop this in. Just a bit of a pocket base, and uh, yeah. That's, oh, that's it. Just. That would have been nice. Play it off the right side of the ball, and back in the middle of the table. A bit awkward now, that will be a bit of a I might have a bit happy about the cushion, but I think it's a bit awkward. Stop it. In our own. Yeah, it's got it well played, Joe. Good shot, that. Good game, lad. Play it, Gus. And that's why Gus hasn't played for us all season. <laughs> Throwing honest, away friends yeah. like that. Like a massive bell end. Like a right, yeah, like a right wuss. Ghost the wuss, God bless him. But well, if anything, at least we've, we've got him we in for today. Found, we might have found a contender for Atelier. On the ladies' money match arena. Oh. Oh, now then, that'll be a game and a half. Because Joe seems like a, a bit of a player. And we all know that Atelier can play. We all know that she's a yeah, single champion around here. Is Artilly. Uh, she beat uh, our Sarah. Could go, Paul Gus can't even work out how to rack them, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we now have Paul Hopkinson versus Carl Payne. Paul's making his Savs Arena TV debut Hopkinson today. Be pain. Yeah. Hopkinson loves pain. Well, yeah, 
mean, I tell you, he's been looking for money back. That one, Joe, he winds his stitch there. Goes into playing Terry down at, at South Arena. On this beautiful table. Let's see if we can get the, uh, the ladies' game into the highlights of things. Rather than just, uh, rather than just the boys. This is uh, it's, it's very uh, male orientated, this pool. But we need girls. We need some more girls in the game. That could, that could be a job. Anybody else knows anybody, any ladies out there? Give us a shout. Sort of match out down here. Any Friday or Saturday. We'll try to stick this Saturdays. It's, uh, it's our preference for the night because we have Jink Club on a Friday. We don't like a lot but, uh, disrupting Jink Club. We love Jink Club. But if you like Jink, just go down. Come down to Jink Club. We do all sorts. Oh, Bring your gin hat, 50p my off. Favorite. My favourite is Opia with the uh, grapefruit and the ginger. Absolutely divine. That's a good shot, that by Paul. You're a better man than me. Oh, woman. Yeah, Jim. What a hat. I a double up here with uh, Shrubs tonic, ginger, and orange or grapefruit. It's for £4.50. But if you come in your gin hat, then it's £4.50. It just depends on the double. Who can beat that? Nobody beats that around here. Two there. shots there for Paul. Let's see what he can do with this. It was nearly a great shot. It went, it was rubbish. I want to go for one of the cushions, but I need some time to bum that off. But, uh, give him Paul over here. <coughs> Doesn't look like he can see that one over the middle, so he's no, he's, he's may not. play this one over the bottom yeah, the cushion. Because nothing went, it would have opened shot, and so two shots. So he, he, he might, I, I would have seen them up. I'd just put them there, put them up. So they just take them out. That's, That's a lovely shot that by Paul. Shot that by Paul. Yeah. Just drop this one in over the top left bag. Leave himself a nice long hole that yellow to play off yeah, the see, bottom that, cushion that, and leave that, black that into the middle. Yeah, it looks like he's left himself a nice angle there just to play the white off the cushion, leave a nice easy black into the middle. Over it that I managed to land on the other one, well, the lucky bugger. That, but, uh, I rock it, I rock it. He does what he wants, he pops what he wants. It's 4 3. 4 3 to us. 
commentators that's what you're wise, but we're home here, yeah, we are today. Go on, okay. So, kids, flip your eyes out. <laughs> so, next, we have. We're okay. We're late on versus Michael Hennigan. Really? <coughs> Roll like a bit of Willie. Come on, Willie. Wilson. Right, we've got our captains on his way. Now, uh, Lee is he captain. Have we got a captain? I believe so. I believe it. Lee and Paul do it between them. I don't think we do a captain's river, do we? Yeah. Not down here. We just do what we want. Oh, yeah. Not do it. Wonder will it now? Look like it's there. Uh, can you break this? Come with it, break this thing. Awkward as Billy Hell. But, uh, let's have a go. Nah. That's a good little shot. Good little shot, will it? Let's control the table. Let's see what she's like. Michael. There's nobody on chat, nobody talking. Real life feed now, isn't it? On YouTube, my looks. It's live now, isn't it? It is. Alright, great. We've got you back now. We've left uh, Willie a chance here. Yeah. Our captain's just walked through the door. Yeah, they, they can, yeah. We'll think he's our no, captain. Keep going until 7 o'clock. That's it. Oh, cap, yeah. You know. Okay, we, we, we don't okay, condone child abuse. Yeah. If, even though, if, if, you've, if you've heard what Gus is saying, we, we don't actually condone it. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one. I'm for that good people But it's good. And we, we know what it's like, don't we? We love him. Love him to be, it's good to, yeah. He can be a bell. An absolute bell. Not too far with that one. Should be a top ball. Like me, he likes sending his white near middle bags. Willie with new echo. Looking smart. Who knows, there's not some stalwart in this game. I cut my teeth with Willie. I didn't cut my teeth with Willie. I cut my teeth with Paul Wilson playing pool. I couldn't have got that anymore wrong, could I? Really? Sorry, but. Uh, yeah, Wilton Arms, back in the day. We ruled. We ruled. Let along came. Uh, it was us and, the, us and the rakes. Let along came. Uh, the Vic and Rig. Aaron Elms did alright. That's where we. Uh, that's where Lee Doyle grew up. Yeah, good days. 
with me, Simon, Willie, uh, Zabi, all those up. So I seen you, yeah. Paul Pollard. Good days, man. Good days back in yeah. I'm still loving it. So it kind of pulls been there. Uh, quite into integral, integral, integ integ integral. I'll say that. Anyway, I know. Nearly shut down last year. There we are. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Due to all the effort Anton's putting in this place. It's everybody. We've we'll, we'll all put effort in. Anton's put hours and hours, we'll, we'll, and we'll, hours, we'll, and we'll, hours we'll, of his own time in. We've got a fantastic little club now. And it's getting busier and busier and busier week on week. We'll give it in. The place is fantastic. Jingle Fridays, Monday Night Saturdays. We've got snooker on Monday, Paul Tuesday, Wednesday. Free night Thursday, free night, uh, free day set, uh, Sunday afternoon. Until today. But it's all about graph. Everything's voluntary. And it's working wonders. It's working fantastically. It's a nice shot by Willie there. Managed to open up his uh, bad yellow. I think Willie can take these out now if he wants. He's going to have a bash at him anyway. Yeah, Bobby's still. All on. Bobby can talk to him. Bend it round that yellow, that that um, that rim the way. It was top on, <coughs> top top top. Top right, he'll be able to get past that. And, uh, Looking like he might be playing the plan. I'll play that yellow back up. Can I? I'd have got a bit more attacking than that. That's really. Right, well played it. Massive match next uh, next uh, Saturday. But yes, we're saying versus Digger Man, which is going to be an absolute phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's going to be fantastic. Words cannot express how, how good that match is going to be. Two out and out. Potting machines. Warriors. <coughs> and both absolutely um, take different shots. You, the people just don't believe what shots they take. But they pull them off and they, they yeah, they just work. They just work. I, I think um, I've inspired both of them in the way they play. And the look, look to me as a bit of a god in the in the in the, uh, in the choice taking, in the shot, in the shot. Cool. Don't like Willie. He's left oh, him a shot on that. That's a chance. A double. Yeah, man. Sure, Willie. I will love him. Yes, Wilson. <laughs> Go on, Willie. <laughs> Do it again. I wonder, Willie. What a double. What a double. Ball. Nice double, Matt. Yes. Yes, Mum. <laughs> give me the fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I just told him what they're going to, what we're going to do. Yeah, he's going to suck the fucking eyes out. And that's what happened. Yeah, man. That's why we love Willie. We all love Willie. Yeah, yeah just clarify. We mean yeah. Paul Wilson. Yeah. I think we should get Dan back in the commentary booth. To be honest, uh, we've asked him. We've asked him, and he said no. It's not for him. Dan oh, Mack's not on fire when it comes to the commentary booth. No, Willie's on fire. Wilson's Willie on fire. The cricketers are petrified. Wilson's on fire. Na 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 na. Great double, Willie. Great double, Matt.
right, so this is the last uh, last frame of the first half. And it's 5 3 to us. 5 3 to the South. Sorry, can't be biased. Well, yeah, can't. It's 5 3 to us. Woohoo! Now we've got Doily Pops. Doily Pops on the base. Let's have it, Doyle. Do us proud. Don't look at twat. Not terrible. Come on. Oh, he's going he's to have a mass of these. Surely to go. Don't be still underneath that. No, no. Yeah, I'd have played that better than that. I'd have gone for double rather than covering frigging cushions. Yeah, I'm looking out. God bless you. It doesn't look like he's left much here. No, it's a, a tough lot. opening ball. Not a lot. It, was, it, it wasn't a bad little shot, really. He, he knew he wasn't leaving out. Oh. I'll be dropping that when he's at middle. I'll be dropping that one into there. But that's just me. got an angle to play the double. Oh, yeah, sorry, look at the table, definitely double. Uh, from the from the screen, looks a bit awkward, but it's uh, advising. Yeah, yeah, good, uh, good container shot, not plenty. Nice shot that there by Lee. Got Jimmy, Jimmy. Good set of boys from the cricketers. And girl, sorry. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, you're being clouded. Sporting their lovely pink shirts with the, uh, the Cancer Research uh, emblem. It's nice, always a nice thing. Is on the block, which are Stu Priest and Jimmy Barnes, which are uh, demanding the uh, the big money at the moment. Nuke is on the block, Digger at 44, and Stuart at 48. 49. Yeah, Max is 49, but uh, I was just uh, being complimentary because flattery works everywhere you go. Yeah, they're uh, two massive matches. Next two weeks here, massive, massive matches. Digger versus Yas next Saturday. Ten starts up. Danny Burn, Saturday afternoon. Seven. Start at seven o'clock. Seven p.m. start. Yeah, it's gonna be massive. It's gonna be the, this club is gonna be absolutely ram jammed. Love a little uh, chip shot by uh, by Dolly there. Leaves off, leaves off the bar, laughing at himself. <laughs> <laughs> and, he's, and he's even left the, left the bucket covered. <laughs> hey. It's a good job, bro. <laughs> Come on, 
God bless you, mate. Get yourselves down early the next two Saturdays for those money games if you're going to come down and watch them in person. I get the feeling it's going to be very busy in the club. Make sure you get, your, get down, get your seat early. Yeah, we need seats. We, we, we've not got enough seats in the place. But there's plenty, there's plenty standing room. We've got three more tables you can... Uh, well, there's going to be two you can play on while they, they're matching there. Uh, underwear. We're going to have a bit, bit of knockout, but I don't think there'll be many people wanting to play the knockout while that uh, phenomenon is going on. It's a nice shot there by Jimmy. Two absolutely relentless bottoms. Relentless bottom. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, Jimmy's playing a good shot. Back to the match. He's got a little bit lucky there, I think he's left the back look, block a bit tied up. Catastrophic. I, I, I don't even know what the red goes in the middle. I'm just going to hit the mic off of there. Uh, uh, no, it does, it does go. It does look like he's tied the block up though for Lee if he doesn't I finish these reds. Does well. it go? I think we both go, yeah. See what he does. I don't know how many he's made it very often for himself here. And I made sure of that last night. I don't know whether I'd be tempted to play this red up here and push the white into the yellow, try and leave the yellow about here. Just try and tie the yellow up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a nice angle there. Just to stun this in, just pull it, pull it back. Pull this out to here. Scrub off of that, right, scrub it into there. Things have a nice little dish. Then you've got, you've got the... Rip the same bag. Throw it back onto the coach. Yeah, I love it. But he's got to be confident doing it. He's got confident. The balls don't go anywhere. I don't know what he's going for. He's going for the other one. Just the outside one. Yeah, wow. That was a bit different. Crazy shot, crazy shot. I don't know why he didn't see it. Yeah, um. Yeah, it goes away. Containing. He's got his, uh, he's got his mark on his opposition now, so he knows what uh, he's capable of. That's all he has to put. <laughs> well, yeah. That's how he plays. He, he, he plays the player. He doesn't play the devil. Chat, there's not, there's not a lot of chat going on. I don't know why. Do you know why, Matt? No. Plenty of viewers. <laughs> <coughs> See what Jimmy can do now. I'll be just bumping that off, leaving that wire where it is. I'm just covering that bottom red. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, too far. Table's got him. Table's got him. Not the right shot. Definitely right shot. A leak in there. Um, can leave a double in the top corner. Pull this off. Come off the, off the bottom and off the top as you're looking at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go around. That's it. A shot there to leave himself a chance. Well, that's what we've got is a little bit of support. Oh, yeah, got it, you see. Oh, that's a fantastic shot by Lee. The right shot to play him. I thought he'd left himself a little bit low there. But no, yeah, I'll play Lee. Great shot. Cheers, Oggy. We, uh, so that's, uh, that's we two, are intending to get this one. There. 
leaving last uh, last quarter a double, Mr. Wilson and Mr. Doyle. Oh, it was a lovely kiss off uh, off our course. God bless him. Play Doyle. Uh, nice little dish, man. Nice little dish, man. And Mr. Sharp just uh, pulled into the building. Good old Dazzler. How's that, Bow? My teammate from old. Do always been there. Always been in my life. <coughs> so I'm skinned. <laughs> Only joking now. Love you, man. Right, we stay the same, yeah. Then you'll you change to uh, whatever it is. 6-3 yeah, to us. Yeah, 6-3 to us. And we're uh, having our full break now. Do you want to jump a commentary? Why? Just talking to Joe now, and uh, and she's not going to come and commentary. Oh, you, you could never be shy. Not playing like that, surely. Did you say we're amazing? Yeah, we're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I've I've lined you a money match up already. I've lined you a money match up as well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Didn't know. That's uh, Joe just be talking there. Good set of guys from the cricketers. I've always had a year come up for free. Or not for free. I had one shot. I had one shot. Right. I didn't play too bad. I played one bad shot to get on black, but I don't mind dropping out. Actually, I don't mind dropping out. I can't find anyone else. Did you win? Did you, right, yeah, Alice as well. So right, we we are uh, all lost. Me, you, and <coughs> so it's Zabi v uh, Mr. Molnar. I think I, I think he's a uh, uh, Polish descent. Big lad, and, and, but very friendly. It's in the um, in my case. In my case, yes, it's there, man. Oh, it's, oh uh, sorry. Zab, Zab, is it end up out there? No, Zab is from my, uh, my queue now. <coughs> I'm going to be hopping down to Craftsman on my return in uh, February. I'm going to be going to Crofts, uh, Craftsman and get myself a new queue. Uh, all the numbers are, uh, th are there anyway, What's so it's now, number three, which is you. Yeah. 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 Do you want to fill in? Yeah, yeah. First one I can't spell. I'm guessing it's Zaba. Molda. Okay, it's our Zaba de Bow. Sure, mate. We're on it, okay. We're on it, kid. Six three. Sorry, we're, we're, we're on the zone now. We have, I, I have one shot, so it's a bit. Uh, oh, good, but it's been there. Uh, a lot of games could have gone either way. Really. So red. Joe, you, you dare to get on out here. <laughs> Zabi on red. Uh, Zabi's on. Da -da. Da -da. 
Yucky knows. <laughs> Joe's only woman. Well, we all woman. <laughs> so it's not at all. It's always played a good shot there. Play that. Zabi's gonna do here. I've got Zabba and Zabi. <laughs> That's just realised. Who does that eat? Yeah. I think he's. It's like he's just gonna play his bad ball out here. 
his name was C. It's spelled C Z A V A, which I'm, I presume is Shabba. Shabba. Shabba and Azabe. Shabba and Tabba and Tabe. Yeah, it works. Right, we shall play the ball, it's not strictly coming down to here. Thinking about three hours when Anton's had a few more Jaeger bombs, it might actually become strictly come dancing in here. It might do. It may do. Yeah, what you have to map them. You, you buy somebody a Jaeger bomb and they just start wrecking the place. <laughs> no, no, yeah, 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 this, this should be balanced there. So. <laughs> okay, we're talking about strictly come dancing. Oh, great, great. Yeah, we've got, well, we've got Jabba and Jabby. I think, I think it's, I think, I'm sure it's, uh, that's pronounced there. Shabba, you, you know more about the Polish pronunciation than the head of the Polish. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to be the same. Shabba, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Get it here. So we've got Shabba and Shabby. But which is like a strict come down to it. Fair is, yeah? Yeah. It's a nice shot there. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, excuse my language. Imagine he's going to have a crack at these. I'm thinking he's, yeah, he's all got this one. I don't know. Alright, what did you see? It went off. Yeah, that's it. A bit of chicken with Daz now. I'm not sure the, uh, the, the conjurer that Daz is. I'm sure you can get it in behind those, uh, those two top bits somehow. I think it's going to come off the inside of this bed in the middle of the table. It's going to come off the inside of this. I'm bringing it back. Alright. It's not a bad shot, it doesn't look to have left anything yeah, overly it's, it's easy here. He's got away with it a little bit. Well, not got away with it. He's played it calculated. Like that's always does. He's played it with a good shot, left there, left jabbering a bit of a bit of dildo. -dil. And if you don't get it, he leaves Daz a shot. He's got a treble on the black. Even a double on the black. He's got a massive double on the black. Having a good study over this. It's just get Left uh, Zabi shot at this red. Yep. Right. Uh, Zabi's got a, Zabi's got a shot here. So that's a fantastic shot, Dad. Fantastic shot, mate. He has got a double on the block. So this can be over. He's got to get down here. He's got to get down. Load of bottom right. Short, Daz. Short, 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 short. Come on, man. Got <laughs> well. Now then. Did you, did you play the Phil Harrison shot here? 
which off the box cush, off the side cush, into the middle. So I think it might just go. Will it? Do you think? So see, if, see if Addison shot goes. Do it, do it, do it. Until I spin that. He's got a massive cut for Dool. Massive cut for Dool. Wondering whether he could that, that maybe. Wide's traveling. Just wondering if he could go for a treble and try yeah, and travel. put it in yeah, here. I don't think under the he's got angle, yellow. He's got angle foot travel. I don't know. He's got a big bag for it. He's got a big bag, yeah. Massive bag. So he can hit anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. There, and it should go in with black. Go ahead, yeah. That's not good. They've gone clever. They've gone clever, the key is dead. Think of it, but Java's gonna have it. Go for it, Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's always played it clever there. That's, uh, that's, that's a nice little shot. Is it a talk? So, so we can, can gonna just come off drop the bottom down, cushion. Like, but he's, make he's sure always, you hit it. He's always fighting now. Bring it out. I might have pushed that a bit further to the table, left him there. Uh, left him go, I just hope he messed up. But he's played it right. Put blocks here. Just wondering whether he may play the uh, ball over the top left bag here. It's not doing a right lot for him at the minute. Play that, try and get the white back up the table to leave himself a better shot at trying to get another safety. Have a good please. I just be taking this bottom one off the black. In fact, no one. Yeah, one actually, yeah. Just thinking with how I'm just thinking with how this uh, how this corner played out. Top right into the middle of the table. I leave myself just so I can leave it plumb on this bottom because black in the bottom. See, we're leaving the leaving the yellow now is not to committed to the clearance. Top one into the middle now and run it through. I'll drop it in. And it. No, no, awkward, awkward. Unless you play, he's got to the right shot here. Yeah, that's it, that's it. But it needs to get it in the middle of the table to be his last ball for the back. Just drop this. Just drop it in. Just drop, drop, drop. A lot of people try to do too much of the white ball and try to mess about with it. Funny about it. I don't need it. So I don't know what. It's really easy shot there where it's in the middle there. Just drop it down and then you've got the other. Where would you be trying to leave the white here on some for this? Go into the middle. And then just drop the drop the white ball onto the cushion. And the black down the rail. People think different. People think different. It's a nice right, shot that is looking like a good angle. Here. Roll it through. Just put a bit of sign on. Just have to touch that block when he's part of it. That's it. <laughs> that could have gone awkward. Could have gone awkward. It, it would, you play that with a little, a little bit of side just to pull it towards the black for some reason. I'd have been playing with the other side just to leave it a little bit of space. Moving on. Oh, 
missed it. Shame about his other. Well, in my opinion, I'm not going to tell you. How much vodka and coke singles? Tell him what's in that. Vodka and coke singles. That wasn't fine. Sorry, no, sorry. Um, uh, one for the vodka, kind of coke. So, two for it. We're a full time. Next game we have uh, Yuxan Lee versus Ian Goodall. Young Yuki. Young Yuki, we've got. <laughs> He's not been called Young Yuki for a while, I'm sure. <laughs> you alright, Young? Good. Are we uh, 7 3, yeah? 7 3 with the moment. You play Mr. Goodall. Outcome? What? Outcome. Are you going to win? Are you going to win this? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Di diplomatic UK is going to try his best. He's not going to... So he's flipping eyes out. He's going to try his best. Sir. Come on, young. He's having a kid. Let it happen. Bit of racking controversy going on now. <laughs> the, white ball, uh, the, the top ball was uh, inch and a half off. Or head ball, as it's called. I think we might want to organise a bit of a knockout, I think. If anyone's uh, bored for something to do, around about 4 o'clock, get yourself down, we'll have ourselves a little knockout, as Anton's just said. Keep the fun going. Looks like Ian has uh, nominated yellows. Mm -hmm. And we sort of knock it out at half time. And see who is the champion after all. I'm sure it won't be me. I know for a fact it won't be me. Not after last night's shenanigans. It's a nice shot like that, Yuki. One really bad ball, has managed to get it out, make it potable. Now everything goes. We'll just be waiting for that right opportunity. It can work alright. It can work alright, can Yuki. It's not, it's not a bad little lake. Okay? So patient. Did you beat, did you beat it for the night? I didn't, I lost 4-1 oh, in right, the final, right, right. but... He did break dish on me twice, so I can't really complain at losing four one. I played Yuki in the um, the singles final. 
in about 96. Oops. And that was, uh, it was first to five. That was, that was first to six, sorry. Was five went up. Awful man. He's made a little bit of a mistake there. He's uh, cool managed to go in off, giving Yuki two. Yeah. Looking, he's going to roll this one into the bottom middle. The black goes into the bottom corner where the red is. If it does, he's going to need to dispatch that, uh, that red pretty quick. He's going to a bit of thinking here now. Let's leave this. This ball. Into this last one. He, he's so on red Anton. Not yellows. Whether he might uh, play this one into the bottom middle and maybe Boy, just try and st to disturb the black and yellow. I'm not very good with technology. You might, uh, you might know, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. That's a nice shot, that by you, okay. Pushing to a corner a little bit there. Got to know that. Uh, he's left in two, and I do believe. I, I think that's a foul <laughs> snooker. Do you know what? He's got away with that. He's got away with that. Well ruled. He's been, he's been like he's been left foul snookered and Yuki's just nominated this ball. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just rolling. He's got to go into the back. Got to go into the back. Don't bounce him up. That's a lovely shot by you. You can know this shit, man. Yeah, beautiful. Top it through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Top it through. Okay. Good finish that by your kit. Right guys, we're just going to have a, a little food break, probably 20-25 uh, minutes maybe. Oh, uh, Anton yeah, doing his caveman impression. A bit starving. We shall be back shortly.
Apologies for that delay there, guys. Back with me, and we've got Gus. There we are. Perhaps if I get the balls the right way around. You said that before. Only for you, Gus. You know that. <coughs> I think I'd be lucky at trying to leave myself a shot on this one to play it up over to this bag just to try and tie it up a little bit just while you uh, get that yellow out that's near the black Typical gush shot, that. Play any random ball and try and fire it round off 12 different cushions. Oh, I've stopped it, Anna. <laughs> oh, look at Gus, he's writing his own name on the stream. Bless him. Play this one down the cushion and leave yourself a shot on it. Off of this ball. That's a lovely shot, is that? I do believe we need to try and get the superstar Dan Mack on commentary, but he won't have it, he's too shy. I we'll have to give him a couple more gins and then uh, yeah, uh, yeah. imagine he'll come on commentary. Great shot of that. I meant to have Anton Edwards v Graham Harrison on now, but Gus has been a bit of a uh, fanny and he wants to get himself off home. So we've got for you now Adam Gissin versus Michael Hennigan.
you so Paul Hawkinson back in the commentary booth. Uh, it feels like I've never been away, guys. So, Michael's broken, put in a few balls, and nominated yellows. Nine three up. So the wife won then, didn't she? She did. Oh, Pulled out a very, very good finish in the last frame. Good old wife. She's like a machine, isn't she? Bless her. God bless her. So yeah, this is probably one of our better interleague results of the season. It's yep, we haven't lost. Yep. We've, in, in total honesty, we've had a terrible season, but it, it just seems now that there's nothing to play for and we're streaming because we thought it'd be funny. Then we started to turn up. We're actually doing all right. Maybe it's because cameras are on us. Maybe we should be filming us all season just to sort of show how rubbish we've been. Although there is a finish on yellow. Uh, Especially with how Michael played in the first frame, I do imagine he's going to go for these. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not in prime position there, though, I'll be honest. I think. Uh, Oh, he's gone for, in America, what they would call the back shot there, Mark. Yep. And he's left, left Gus a chance. I fancy Gus to get these, to be honest. Especially after this shot now, I think, I think he should be... He should be plopping these in and getting us over the line for the win. He's probably over it, that over quite, that a little quite a bit. bit. He, he over it is that he shows done it. Yeah, even easy finishes are, are difficult when you when you play positional shots loose and you've had ten cans of um, dark fruit. Wait, what effect goes? Because you just believe me, Gus actually fruit. plays better with more alcohol in him. Yeah. Generally, that's that's what he does. Yeah, he usually he usually has loads and loads of beer and plays a bit better. He's in a tough spot here, is Michael, I think. Yeah, Michael, Michael's looking for a shot here that, that doesn't leave just um, a finish, and it's difficult to find one, actually, I think. The only thing I can there's a couple of things I think you can put him on the cushion and ask him the question, or you can make sure that. Yeah, that's that's still left goes to finish. Still, I think I think you can use the yellow ball as a stopper there, Mark. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. I think he was probably trying to play it into the black there, the white. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's trying to play this time. Right, uh, his handed advantage back, uh, back over to Michael again. So now... I'd just be rolling this into the middle. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you've got to roll it in and just take medicine. Yeah, he's stuck his medicine on Give that. He's, a chance here. He's a relatively simple pot straight in that top pocket there, I think. Yeah, so that was a nice finish. Straightforward. So Gus has played uh, two frames for this season and uh, lost them both. We now have. We now have Anton Edwards v Graham Harrison. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Edwards is in the house, and he's uh, he's about to step up for another stream match. Tell him, will you get us a pen? No, he's not. Will you get us a pen so I can fill Scott? Yeah, so we, we did play a little bit out of sequence because um, Gus has probably had too many Jurgen bombs. Oh, 
So next up we've got Anton Edwards against Graham Harrison. Now, I believe, I believe it's, uh, Yeah, Ant Anton Edwards is playing. Trying to get Anton to come over now and play. Looks like he's uh, making himself another alcoholic drink. Yeah, he's, he's, he's busy uh, drinking beer, but uh, now he needs to get his weapon out and play some pool. We by weapon, I mean his pool cue. So yeah, we've got uh, Anton in his, he's, he's got his Trying orange dicky bow on today. What's that? He's got his orange dicky bow on today, has Anton? He has. Uh, and I don't know whether he should be changing to green, because green seems to be more effective for him, but I'm sure orange will be fine. So Anton against uh, Graham Harrison. So stood there in his flat cap, his white shirt and his orange dicky bow, making a nuisance of himself. But Graham's give them a, a good smash there, he spread them quite well, I think there's, there's a chance of a clearance. He's uh, nominated Reds, so... Yeah, they're on, they're on Reds, are the cricketers. Knowing Anton, we'll probably have a little crack at these. Yeah, I think that, that shot shows his intentions that he wants to go game. Now, I think he's got this this shot that's quite a tough shot. If he can pop this and get position, I think he should be dropping the rest of them in. And, uh, there's never been a pocket there, Anton, I'm afraid. It's nice to see he's uh, covering halfway up the yes. right hand side cushion. Yeah, he's covering cushions. Um, he has done that before. It's not his first rodeo on cushion covering. It's not always nice to see, to be honest. Mm, looking a bit there by Graham. Just rolling the back, rolling it around the back. Is one of the good things about this table. The uh, middle bags aren't forgiving, so you actually do have to play it right. Yeah, if you don't put it in the centre of the mi middle pocket, there's then chance it's missing. You don't, you don't, you don't get it. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Eleven people watching us playing to lean, drink beer, and have yoga bombs. Nice to see you all uh, watching us, guys. Let's uh, let his cue ball get away from him there, though. It's Graham. This is a test of queuing, and uh, it's not passed that test. Giving Anton a shot here. Yeah. He's, he's giving him an easy starter as well, that's the thing. This looks a routine finish now, doesn't it? Play this one in the middle bag, and I'll be looking at playing the one into the um, top middle bag as we look at it. Um, dropping down for the yellow on the left hand bottom cushion. No, he's done it's something not completely his different. Positional shot. He's done something completely different and he's, he's made the finish a lot harder for himself, but he's played that very well. That's a lovely shot yeah. though, that by Anton. Nice recovery. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a jam a little bit, I think. Oh, oh wow. He's well, landed a little bit fortunate there to cover that red. Well, that, that can only be described as a rubbish. Flip. Rubbish. I think he. I mean, and that's been fair to Anton, to be honest, because that, that were a bad shot. Because um, we're not biased on this commentary at all towards the soft. No, no. Uh, but if Anton plays a rubbish it's shot, a lovely I'll tell shot. You it's rubbish. But 
Well, this one is like, one good shot here. It's the game. I tell you what, that is a great pot. That is a terrific pot. Given given the shot that he just fluffed, that is. It's, it's killed that beautifully. Nice big pocket as well for this black. Yeah, he's strutting around the table now, Mark. Uh, and he's not oh, he's missed it. it. Wow. What a complete wow. bellend. I, I don't know if he thinks he's paying for the table, he's, play, he's making his game last. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get his uh, five pence worth. Uh, I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Anton went for the double on the black, to be honest, Mark, aren't you? Very much so. Anton surprised himself. <laughs> That was a uh, special we word think from it's Anton. the uh, orange dicky bow that's putting him off. Yeah, uh, he just play a lot better in green. I do, I do think that he should have been wearing the green dicky bow for this particular frame because we know that he performs better in green. Even his mum told him that he should be playing in green. Interesting shot there by Graham. If there's anybody on the chat that wants to have a shout out, pop up and uh, well, shout your name out and tell you to buy us some yoga. Clever little shot there, there by Anton. Um, he has given Graham two, but he hasn't really left him a shot. He's made him have to waste his first. Uh, it, it, his, his teammates are saying great shot, but looking at where the cue ball is, I'm, I'm not as convinced as they are. Um, I think he needs to play this with a lot of running side to develop the red, and that makes the pot very missable. Or is. Uh, well, I don't know what he did there, Mark, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Anton just asking if we need to win this match. And then misses the black. Yeah, so I think um, I think there's certainly a little bit of overconfidence and a bit of ego that came into that one. Um, Mr. Mr. Edwards thinking that uh, it was done and dusted and then forgetting they actually had to... Yeah, if you forgot that, if you got to win the frame, that you've actually got to pot the black. Uh, rookie error, really. That, that knuckle's not helped, but there is a chance of doubling and screwing back down. Looks like he's going to go for the double. No, he's, he's gone for the double oh, he's the centre. It. And he's, he's left himself a black, it's a thin black, but he's left it, he's left it potable. As stated earlier, Anton seems to think it's strictly come dancing now, the Jaegers are flowing. Yeah, I think uh, Anton needs to concentrate on strictly potting the black ball, to be honest. That's a great black. That's a great black. It's a cracking shot that there by Graham. So, uh, there was a big oops from Anton there, because uh, it not had enough Jaeger to play the shot. So next hope so next we, up have we have Mr. Dan Mack versus Jimmy Cliff. Yeah, and we're not going to go any deeper into that one.
back uh, back on the uh, commentary again. We've got um, myself and Mark Driver still commentating. Uh, Mark's doing a lot better than he did yesterday, actually. I don't know if anybody heard yeah, any. I'll come back. I'll come back shortly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll join you. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a wise idea, Anton, because we did well. Yeah, but after Anton. Anton, last two games, me and you. It's there, ref. Yeah, so myself and Anton will uh, bring you home in this match, but I think we will probably have another Jürgen before we do bring you home. Uh, yeah, so next up on the on the table is Dan Mark and Jimmy Cliff. Um, following on from that is myself, my good self, against Ian Tolson. So we'll see we'll see how we get on with that one. Eh? One thing I noticed about Dan is he's, he's got a very consistent break. He always gets the ball in the top centre pocket as we look at it. Um, it's not necessarily the greatest split that we've ever seen, but the ball in the top centre pocket is, gives himself the option, the choice of balls to go on, doesn't it? Yeah. It will uh, be interesting to see what Dan does this for him. I know in, the, in his last game, uh, me and Gus were suggesting shots that he should go for and he was going for something completely different and just pulling it off, so... No, we, we, Lee Doyle, our captain, is just asking if, if have we had a draw this season and the answer is no. We'll either, we'll either manage to win reasonably convincing or absolutely pulled. Um, we've not had a middle ground. We've either been good or awful. Me. All right. Um, anybody, anybody on the chat wants to have a natter with us? Feel free to feel free to comment. And uh, uh, Dino Lee Doyle says hi. See, see this uh, Lee Doyle sat on the side of me. The problem with Lee, I mean, he's a nice lad, he's Lee, but for a living he hits things with hammers. Um, so anything that's technological is a bit difficult for the boy. He's not a bad pool laker though. Can I mean, fill the yeah, he can fill about 15 prams, don't, don't be mistaken. In fact, I think he's the last hope of repopulating the earth. interesting to see what he does this shot. Well, if, he, if he does still want to go game, he can do. Um, the problem is that he's going to have to be looking at that one and coming across and playing into that one and hoping that he lands on it. And the problem is with a shot like that, if you haven't got balls on the table, you're not guaranteed to be on the ball. If you had a ball across, over the pocket, if you had a ball somewhere that was possible, you, you, you have to set a safety ball just camp. in case you miss it, in case you don't get the best position. Yeah, so, so he is in a tough spot. If he, if he wants to...
gone for the cutting in the centre back here. He's given, uh, given Dan two. Yeah, two shots. And do we imagine that Dan will probably have a little crack at these, um, given the fact that he's got two. He's only really got one bad ball. Yeah, I can't see why he wouldn't have a go for it. This red could be classed as a bit of a bad uh, ball, but he's got, he can cover this bag here. I, I think in, in, in honesty, Mark, I think, I think this is his problem area. Dan just asked what colours he went on. <laughs> Dan doesn't just, know what yeah, colours is um, on. That's uh, just a, a couple too many Jaegers for Dan. Dan, we've actually got colours up on stream. If you want to go on YouTube, you can find out what colour you're on. <laughs> Sorry, uh, our good friend, uh, our good friend Dan, um, the Cornish passer that he is, he couldn't quite figure out which balls he was on. I think that could be due to, down to Jürgenmeister though, to be honest. I would definitely agree. A couple too many Jaegers for uh, well, Dan Mack. Maybe not a couple he is, too many. Maybe. He is like a gigantic hobbit though, so a couple of Jürgenmeisters does have a big effect on him. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's like a full-size bloke that's just been chopped off at the knees, isn't it, really, to be honest, is Dan. Um, but he's such a lovely guy, absolutely. He is. He's he an absolute diamond. He is a character, that? he's Dan Mack. We love him a piece. When we do a gin club on a Friday night, we have it 50p off at the bar if you've got your gin hat on. And some of the gin hats that Dan comes in that are self created they are absolutely fantastic. I do, I do sometimes wonder whether Dan Mack does have a little bit too much time on his hands with all the gin hat creations he comes out with, but I think, I think they takes, are very entertaining and he does. He takes gin club very seriously. He does. He does love it down here. Yeah, we love having him down here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Unless he plays a rubbish shot like that, and then we're not so sure about having him down here. But hopefully, he'll redeem himself. I think you've got to put the red on the uh, bottom cushion here. It's probably his only yeah. difficult ish shot of ball. I don't think he intentionally played the flick on that ball, but he's giving him a chance, he's giving him a sniff. He's got to cue this very well, though. I, d I, d I do think we need to get him a stool so we can see over the table fully. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, now we're streaming, he can actually just watch it on stream and see where the, the shot is so he can line it up. I don't know, though. Uh, question, question for those that know World Rules. If he was watching it on the stream to line the shot up because he can't see over the edge of the table, is it classed as coaching? I would imagine that depends on if we, he's got the sound on, if he hears us telling him what he should and shouldn't yeah, be well, doing. Yeah, yeah, I suppose if he's got it on mute, it's not coaching, is it? That's a lovely double. Yeah, but it's not. This is going to be uh, an, an interesting shot. Typical Dan Mack shot here. He'll probably, he'll probably play the super thin clip, make it, and come round off about 12 cushions and land on the back. Yeah, well, or, or he can just, just stove it in. I think, I, think, um, I don't know whether he ran out of ideas there and thought, I'll do it a bash. Yeah, well, when we went across to play these guys at their place, we, we went across with eight players and two players that uh, had never played World Rules. So I feel that uh, before I play my next round, I feel that I need another Jager bomb. Just to ensure fully that I can't see. I'm hoping that Paul decides to be nice and get Team Jaegers in, rather than just being selfish and getting one for himself. <laughs> That's it. There's, there's some smiles on some faces now. There's a, there's a little bit of heckling from the sidelines from, from our good friend Mr. Doyle. There's a little bit of friendly banter going off. But I, I do believe that Doyle do, does have very fond memories of Jimmy. Of, of course, Jimmy White. Looks rel 
relatively routine shot. Just plop it in. I think take your medicine on it because you, you start digging down, you might miss the pot. Take your medicine on it, roll it in the centre pocket. I think the only thing that's the only thing that's um, put him off slightly is that there are reds in a very open, very potable position. But for me, I'll be taking my medicine, I'll be potting the ball, and taking my medicine, having a shot on the black into the centre pocket. I don't think you need any heroics here, do you? Yeah, that's just just as I called it, that really, Mark. Yep. That's the sort of shot I would have tried to play. I would have probably over it by a mile and landed snookered behind the red, but... Yeah, but the method's there, though, Mark, isn't it? That's, a, that's the point. That's there. That's a lovely that's shot, there. that. So, Jimmy Cliff beats... Uh, Mark Driver. No? Not Mark. So, now it's... Uh, Myself, my good self, playing against Ian Tolson. So I'm going to go suck somebody's eyes out and I'm going to pass you over to Doyle. Good afternoon, everybody. Who have we still got watching? Okay, indeed. Now, uh, anyone who's watching, if you say hello, we would like to know who is watching. We're leaving it till nine eight, and then the captain goes on and wins it. Goes on you. Ian Tolson. Ian Tolson against Paul Hawkinson, the real captain. It's been quite a uh, quite a good I'm game this so far. Got an decision to make. <laughs> we were uh, six three up at halfway. We won the next three. We'd give ourselves a really good chance to win it, and we've lost the last three. So. Let's see if we can uh, win this one, secure the win. Yep. Oh well, look, Doyle has decided to draw uh, Adam Gissing on the screen. Against me, so it won't be your break anyway. I didn't break it first half. I don't know, but. You should have broken it first half. No, I didn't, so. It doesn't matter. I'm not bothered. Can't decide who's breaking here. Nice break this year from Paul Hawkinson. <laughs> Go 
we're down for the knock now. We are looking at trying to get a little knockout organised for around about four o'clock start. If anyone fancies it, it'll be two or three pound in. Um, depending on numbers, depending on what sort of format. Obviously, if we get a load of people down, it probably would just be straight knockout. But there's only a few of us. Try to do some little round robin. Definitely get your money's worth. Okay. Paul has uh, just told us he gave foul there, left his hand on the table, and uh, red ball has come up and hit his white, hit his hand. We have cricketers on yellow, just... What would you be playing here, Lee? Well, it's a little tough game here, I think. We're left on top on this. We're just playing Sol for centre. We're just going to block Sparks from Carl Fag. Yeah. I'll have to go for the Gothic Sol to get a block here. Never plays when he shot his ball. Line up, safety shot here. It's actually better than the snow, because we're fair. Careful for pushing there. By Paul. Yeah, he's just he's commentating. He's an absolute twat, I know. Is he here anyway? There you go, mate. Put you on mute. Yeah, I'll put you on mute. The mute? Yeah. Hello. That's a lovely shot that by Paul. He's opened up all of his balls.
imagine who's going to be uh, looking at playing this ball to leave himself a shot on this one into here. As his next shot. Well, he's got his bad ball out. Went for a completely different shot than I thought. It's a nice little shot there, nice little kiss off the block, he's left himself a nice angle on this uh, red. This red, just to clarify. That's a lovely little finish. Well played there, Paul. So that's confirmed we have actually won the match now, we can only extend our lead. Up next we have Paul Wilson v Joe Baker. Come on Willie! I do believe that we have a couple of new people coming into the commentary box. I believe it's Paul Hopkinson and Anton Edwards are going to be coming in after they've got the Jaegers in. So, me and Lee will see you later.
So, uh, Paul Hopkinson returning to the commentary booth after I successfully um, sucked somebody's eyes out. Um, to be honest, I got, I, I got lucky, I broke off, um, and I, f I left me big clumpy paws on the table. Uh, the ball hit my hand, so I called a foul on myself, which I don't think anybody else in the club caught, saw, uh, let alone called, but um, obviously, honesty, I'll not, I'll not cheat. Um, so I did foul, so I, I owned up to the foul, and then, as a result of that, I, I got um, I, I got the opportunity to snooker um, Ian, and then with, with my two shots, probably slightly unorthodox, um, I managed to clear them up. Um, so yeah, it's always it's always good to be winning frames after a few pints and uh, a little bit of yoga. And it's it's quite a rarity for us guys to actually be ahead in a match, so we've got over the line. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Paul Wilson and Joe Barker. Thought about then. Um, mm -hmm. Right, so back on the um, commentaries, myself and Mr. Driver. Mark, how are you, matey? It's been a it's been a good day, hasn't it? To be honest, I've uh, I've only had four yoga bombs, um, so yeah. No, um, no, but there there is a reason behind that, and it's a, a financial embarrassment reason. Um, beer. Yeah, so, well, yeah, I mean, essentially, uh, wife's on SSP for a, uh, at least a month, so I'm sponsoring the wife, apart from the uh, state contribution to the SSP, because she's got a, quite a bad back injury that she might she might need an operation on, and then she's won two frames out of two at Interleague, so I'm questioning whether she should keep the back injury. Yeah. <laughs> I think she should, don't you? Yeah. So anyway, back to back to pool. Um, I've seen Joe play a couple of times. I played against I played against Joe when we played away there uh, against the cricketers, um, and it was quite a scrappy frame. But the first frame that she played here, uh, she she played against um, our, our good friend Gus, yeah, um, and she played really, really, really well, really solid. Uh, it was it was good to see actually. Yeah, um, I think that's a good shout, to be honest. I do think it's a good shout because I think it's fair. I do think it's fair. I think uh, I think both both the girls can play, obviously. Um, whether they can 
whether one's going to run away with it or, or not, I don't know. Uh, but certainly from what I've seen, they're both very capable players. I mean, the wife, obviously, I've, I've played numerous frames against her and she's, she's a sensational potter of the ball. Um, and Joe, she, you saw it yourselves earlier on on the stream. She, she made Adam Gissing look even more foolish than he always looks. That's a very difficult thing to do. Yeah, because he, I mean, he always looks foolish. So, just uh, about to join me in the commentary booth is our fr our friend Anton Edwards. Uh, just just for the last two frames of the of the match, um, my good buddy Anton is. Uh, He's going to come in, he's even taken his hat off, not his dicky bow though, obviously, because the dicky bow is essential attire. Hello. Hello matey, how are you? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, we're sucking, yeah, well I, I, um, yeah, I won the frame to suck their eyes out, didn't I, so. How would I do? Uh, not as well as me or the wife. And I missed three straight blacks, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you had one of those days, mate, didn't you? I, I didn't mind. No. It's just fine, it's just fine, mate. But you, you would never miss those kind of blacks, but you had a moment. If it were terribly important, that's great, so, yeah. That's what I asked. I was thinking about that double, yeah, I thought, definitely. Yeah. Well, we were talking earlier on, actually. We were talking, uh, myself and Mark Driver were talking about... Um, Perhaps Joe playing against uh, Atelier in a in a ladies' money game at some point. And I think that's a very very fa it's a fair game. She yeah she's she she's not a mug is she? She's not a mug at all. Um, it's well it's it's not a big scalp. Um, but it's a it is yeah. is a very it's a very reason well very very good I've got a very good local player very good pub player um, such as ourselves and yeah I think I think that one, that white ball didn't kiss that red ball she was on it into the middle pocket I don't she's not snooking on it though she's she's not snooking on it though Anton. Maybe so. So, Anton, uh, Yo. when, when is it that you travel to Australia, my friend? Uh, it's, it's a while. It's, a while yeah, it's, it's not a while, is it really? It's um, a week of Wednesday. R right, right. That's a while then, really, isn't it? So you've got long enough to have some yogurt today, then, have you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought I'd better check. Quiet day tomorrow. Yeah. Quite quiet. Being, yeah. yeah. Same as your. I've got a day off, but I've got to go to, I've I've got to go to solicitors. So anyway, Joe's 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 played DF, and she's waving her ears at us like she's Dumbo. God bless her. Yeah, she she says she's. Yeah, she's. Yeah. yeah so, so, she, she's got some right listening tackler on, haven't you? God bless her. Right listening tackler. Right listening tackler. So, meanwhile, back in the real world. <laughs> All ten of them. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why Joe's squeaking now in the club. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm not Joe. I'm not. I apologise. Yeah, Joe, you laughed, so it can't be that bad. When you're listening, it, when you listen back, it's not that bad because you found it funny. God bless her. I, I love, I love interleague. I absolutely love it. It's awesome. Well, we're about coming you get 18 folk coming down to Interleague. All serious. Uh, all, all to win. And then, uh, and then to play us. Just a laugh. Then you walk into the club and order 10 Jurgers. 
Tell you about plays. Eight, eight, <laughs> 18 folk coming come to play interleague, nine on each side, and all of a sudden Anton makes a mess at job. Oh, God bless him. Funny mess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, funny mess. it's a terrific mess. I can remember back, back years ago, years, years ago, when we, used to, when we started playing um, interleague, it was back to the... Um, Bellevue? Uh, Bellevue, yeah, and we, yeah and unfortunately Bellevue was short. Um, we for, um, You're unlucky there, George. Just just like Rose, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. Love it. It's a fantastic battle there. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. We had some cracking things. Rapsdale. Uh, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Love it, love it. Too. And we'll get it back now. We've got to, yeah. S same sketch. Weirdos. No, so but, but weirdos that can play ball. Well, we've got we've got a Chinese weirdo. Yeah. We've, yeah. we've got we've got a Polish a Polish weirdo. Yeah. We've got Baz. Ah, Baz. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Doyle 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 that impregnates everything that moves. Yeah. Just as a look at people. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Um. Then obviously we've got the normal folk like me and Anton. Yeah. 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 yeah I've got that. That's, that's only because I'm irresistible to women. <laughs> <laughs> so he says. Played Joe. So, yeah, Joe's just uh, sucked Mr. Wilson's eyes out. Yeah, played Willie. Joe's sucked Willie. <laughs> yeah, Joe literally has sucked Willie. So now we've got Lee Doyle ready to give Carl some pain. I mean, Carl Payne playing against Carl Payne. D Doyle. Give him some pain, won't you? Give Carl some pain. Yeah, but he laughed. He laughed. He laughed. Yeah, but don't say rubbish jokes on it. Why? Because it just makes us look bad. We try to promote a funny. Anton, we had we had an hour and a half of rubbish jokes last night. We had an hour. Ah. Right, so Doyle's yeah, tried Doyle's to land. Just tried my oosh break. And yeah. The right, cuts fall of it. Yeah, I think the, I think. The only one man that can oosh a break. I think that were a tactical foul. And that's me. <laughs> it, it oh, would, yeah. Anton, it were definitely a tactical foul that. What do you reckon? Yeah, it were a deliberate foul that. It's world world rules. You played a tactical foul. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure this uh, this group's actually uh, he's, he's not jumped yet. Was it? What's that, sorry? He's not jogged here, is it? No, he's not jogged here, no. No, he's, he's been supping beer all afternoon, I wouldn't have thought <laughs> I'd have jogged here. <laughs> so I've not seen Carl play before, so... We'll see how he goes here. It looks alright, it's got a max gun. It looks... Looks looks more to me like um, he's not played a positional shot there. To be honest, oh he has! Oh, oh wow, has, wow! Yeah, wow. That shows. You can say that sh that shows it shows you the fact that. My ignorance. It shows my ignorance. Well, it shows it shows that the difference actually when you're down on the table to the stream, because yeah, it, <laughs> it didn't look like he could. Actually, popped that ball, but it, 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 it stuck it in the middle. Yeah, that's a it's a clever sh clever shot from Doyle, which surprises me actually, because he's not that clever a guy. But he can lift heavy stuff. But he's one at strongest as well, though. It would difficult to. Stop that cue ball to be honest, it though. There, it, 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 oh. so when it, like yeah, if he could have got there, but it, yeah, I think Anton just likes drawing. Is, uh, ne next up, ladies and gentlemen, will be a stick man. 
No, Anton, you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've got to touch me. Yeah, it's, and the problem is, Anton, for all his 44 years of sin, he's. Um, yeah, plus VAT. Um, for, for, for all for all his for all his couple of years of sin, he is essentially a big child. So, drawing on the screen. No way! No way! It's got to be bad. It's got to be bad. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Oh. No, I well, we're going for the pot in the corner, obviously, but um, he's, he's obviously just miss hit that. Yeah. So now, now we'll see. Miss it. I, I bet, I bet if, um, less expletives than miss hit. it. Was, well, Doyle's uh, uh, played a really clever. No, he hasn't. Um, uh, wrong side of the shot. Then. Yeah, yeah, he's wrong side of the ball. <laughs> it, went, it, went, it went wrong side. Didn't it? Yeah, yeah, but it, it, do you know what? It's working out for him. Yeah, you know what Dial is like though, he'll just put it safe yeah, on top yeah. cushion. <laughs> Cover it cushion. Cover God, it one, God bless him. This shot now is obviously off the cushion. Yeah, so so, so, so I, I I suggest he I suggest he covers bottom cushion. Oh no he's not fancied no, that. No, he didn't fancy that. No, so so he's only covered one cushion, he could have covered both cushions. We, we, we were thinking that Dyle were covering all cushions. Yeah, I thought so. It, it, the problem is with Boyle, Dyle, he ran out of balls. Boyle? Boyle. Super. 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 Oh, Super. Dyle's got some balls. Dyle's got some balls. Dyle's got some balls. Dyle's got some balls. Dyle's got some Not till yesterday. <laughs> He wasn't pleased about that though. <laughs> oh, super. Digbo. Dig Digbo wasn't pleased. <laughs> no, we've got 11, 11 oh, yeah. guys watching us. Hey. Or, or guys and gals watching us. <laughs> but, <laughs> if you're crapping on, please, please yeah. don't tell us. Just say, just look lads, you're talking absolute noodles. <laughs> We won't care, but at least you've told us. Yeah, yeah. You've, if, you've, if we don't like, like uh, the vital jazz, we know, we know where we are, anyway, so we just don't like that. Right, come on now. Right, I, I expect... Game over. Game over. I, 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 I expect Doily to have put at least one of these now. Um, yeah, we've got to go, what, top middle first? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but the angle's yeah, taking him away from... Back. Oh no, he's played. He's played that well, actually. He's played that way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, well. yeah. I, I thought by playing position so well that he'd missed the pot because he's, he's had a couple of moments, but he's he's a bit sh yeah, he's a bit short yeah, there, isn't he? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's played a ridiculous treble. He did. He didn't play it. He didn't play it. He's, pl he's played. <laughs> uh, oh, I think. I think he just hit the yellow there. It's <laughs> good for him, say. Yeah. So, so that's um, that's the second. That's the second. That's the second tactical foul he's played in the match. The first one being the break. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think Doyle's playing on an empty head. Steph, Steph Shaw, we actually want you to come down and have a bash as well because. Uh, oh yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's just stoved it in instead. And, it, and look, he's got away with it again. He's got away with it. Absolute murder again. Oh, sorry, we apologise for Lee Doyle's colourful language, but... Right. Yeah, it, no, it's, I, I, I think if it goes in, it's by pure chance, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, just like it, 
God bless him. Well, you can see it. You can see it. Oh wow! Oh wow! He's got. He's, he's called it. Oh, uh, none of them. None of them. I think. I think he went for fluke. To be honest. Yeah. He, he thought. That if I call it. <laughs> well, it'd be. <laughs> It'd have been a double fluke, wouldn't it? Because right, happens happens now. We could try and pot a ball. Stroke in. I bet you can't drop it. I bet you can't drop it. Then wait. Okay. Fucking face. <laughs> no, he's he's going for fluke again. He's going for fluke. It was too far away for him to see it. He's getting old. Look at the guys. He's not there. Well, he's, he's getting old now, his granddad dials. It was too far away for him to see it. He's been around that for years. <laughs> yeah. We established that earlier on when Doyle were on commentary. He's, he's, well, you say that, you say that, but he's, he's only he's only gone and poked it in. He's only gone and So, so Cal, either, either either double double or I think I think he's playing safe. I think he's playing safe. Yeah. Oh yeah, like now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's playing. Um, it's playing for the crowd. He's dialing. He's not playing ball, is he? No, because he, well, he's crap at that, isn't he? Obviously. I thought they actually played. Uh, one comp yeah, uh, wife. Uh, I've only actually played one competitive match against uh, against uh, Doily, and I sucked his eyes out. And that's it from us, guys. Uh, we've I think we've insulted. Uh, I think we've insulted Doily enough. Thank you very much. See you again.